What is up, guys? It's Math97, and welcome back to another episode of GM Mode. And again, ratings are actually starting to go up a little bit. As we see, we still have MVP and The Rock taking two of the top two spots. And we've got actually three superstars in the Power 25, or the top five, for a good month or so. Got an email from the chairman of the board, Mr. McMahon. And we're here with the final Monday Night Raw in May, as you can check out the SmackDown ratings. And the e four stars. Okay, this has got to be impressive, right? I don't know why the ratings do that. They didn't even have a four-star match, yet they had a four-star card rating. And yet, look at that. We have a four-star, but we get a three. You see the pay-per-view. Three and a half stars. And the main event, United States title. I think that pay-per-view really lacks. I mean... Edge is, I guess, a good main event, but not for the U.S. title. you got to put the world title on the line in your main event. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and simulate some of these matches. We're not going to play the parking lot brawl. That'll take forever. And The Rock defeats MVP, who defended his WWE title successfully against um, Rey Mysterio last week. So we're going to kick things off here with our opening contest. The Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, taking on Rey Mysterio. And we're going to be Rey Mysterio. And Evolution, they've been running rough shot through Monday Night Raw here in recent weeks. First, we found out that Evolution had reformed. They win the tag team titles back before the Backlash pay-per-view. Sorry, just eight people and I'm trying to come back up. Trying to burp, the and then Milwaukee nice clothesline out of the gate there by Randy Orton. Jim but we have... Um, then we had MVP win the WWE Championship and announce that he had sided himself with Evolution. Randy Orton went for the high drop kick there, but he was unable to connect. And now Ray, he's got MVP up, or Randy Orton up on his shoulders, and he was looking for some sort of Death Valley driver there, but there's the nice DDT counter by Randy Orton, and now Randy. There's that, no, again, Ray Mysterio able to avoid that drop kick. And this time, the third dropkick connects on Rey Mysterio. And now Randy Orton, just the disrespectful kicks to the head. The legend killer, Randy Orton. Hey, dang it again, I forgot to leave the chat. I'll have to get to that then. But Randy Orton, he's got the abdominal stretch locked in on Rey Mysterio. Is Rey Mysterio going to tap out? You know, MVP really did a number to the ribs last week in our Steel Cage WWE title main event. And a vicious backbreaker by Randy Orton, dropping Rey Mysterio to the mat. But Rey Mysterio, he's able to fight off Randy Orton with the three punches to the gut. And now Randy, there's a gut kick. Really got to work on those ribs that uh, that MVP injured last week. But speaking of evolution, we did see them um, in MVP's match against The Rock a few weeks ago. Evolution just completely invaded the ring and took out The Rock. The Rock, he had no chance. It was four on one. And Randy Orton, he's got the tights. He's got the... Here's the cover. One, two. Oh, but Rey Mysterio, thank God he was able to kick out. Randy Orton almost stole one there. And now Randy Orton just looking to overpower Rey Mysterio. And now he's just choking Rey Mysterio. The referee is going to have to ask Randy to break the hold. And Randy with that illegal choke hold, but he finally breaks the hold. Mike Kyoto here not doing much to help Rey Mysterio in this match. There was an illegal chokehold. And there's a back suplex by Randy Orton. And now Randy, Rey Mysterio able to fight, fight off there. And there's a nice knee lift, nice running knee lift. And now a knee drop to the face of Rey Mysterio. Now Randy off the ropes getting a running start. And there's a fist drop, Shades. Of Ric Flair, and now there's oh no, this is Shades of Ric Flair, Shades of the dirtiest player in the game. Randy Orton with a low blows. We see the instant replay, off the thumb to the eye, and Rey Mysterio he could be out of it. That was a cheap low blow. The referee wasn't even doing anything, and now Randy Orton see the replay. RKO in slow motion. Randy Orton looking to get the victory over Rey Mysterio. Oh no, Randy Orton he's got to do some taunting first. That wasn't the right taunt. I was trying to do his legend killer one. But now Randy Orton looking to get the cover and stupid capture card, but that is a three count. Maybe even a fast count there by Mike Kyoto. We didn't even see him count, and he went into the cover and he just called it there. I think maybe the referees are working for Evolution. Something, something's got to be done about this. Somebody has 
to stop Evolution running roughshod through the WWE. And now Randy Orton getting the victory there. We're going to move on to our very next contest, which is a six a six man mixed tag. Or no, it's tag team. We'll see Johnny Nitro and Mr. Kennedy with Molina at ringside take on Crime Time. And they've got Kelly Kelly at ringside. But I'm getting rumors from the uh, chairman, Mr. McMahon. Or should I say, not the chairman, but the general manager of Monday Night Raw, the vice president of talent. Right now, we don't have John Laurinaitis in this game, but I'm getting word that there will be a major announcement next week on Monday Night Raw. Maybe another trade acquisition? Who knows? But as we see, Johnny Nitro and, and Mr. Kennedy, recent acquisitions to the Monday Night Raw brand, and now they're, they've been on a pretty good tag team run, as we see they picked up the six-man tag team victory last week. Wait, I think. Uh, I don't know. I suck at this. Anyway, JTG now fist dropped to the knee, or sort of the leg of Johnny Nitro. And now Johnny Nitro, big wheel kick to the face, dropping JTG, and now Johnny Nitro, he's going up top. Elbow drop from Johnny Nitro, the Shaman of Sexy, the, uh, I don't remember his other nicknames, whatever, Prince of the Palace of Wisdom, whatever it was, that one YouTube thing that he had for a little while, or, no, it wasn't YouTube. But stupid capture card, sidewalk slam from Chad in prime time. Looking to get some offense in this one. Losing that six man tag team, well, not six man tag team, but losing the hardcore triple threat tornado tag team match last week. And there we go. John Johnny Nitro, aka John Morrison, getting whipped right into the steel ring post. And now this has pretty much been a two on one affair so far. Crime time using the numbers advantage to take out Johnny Nitro. Johnny Nitro, he's going to have to get Mr. Kennedy involved in this match. And there's a nice neck breaker by Johnny Nitro. Nice elbow drop from the top of the human highlight reel. Here's the cover on JTG. One, two, and a kick out by JTG at a count of two. Almost a three count there off the elbow drop from the top rope. And now Johnny Nitro. Nice counter by JTG to fight off. And there's a drop kick to the back of the head of Johnny Nitro. And now... Johnny Nitro, what's he looking to set up JTG for here? There's a shot to the face and a second punch. And now, oh, a big knee lift to JTG. JTG, a shot to the face, he's able to fight him off. And now Johnny Nitro looking to put away JTG. Looked like he went for a shoulder tackle there, but JTG able to use his speed to avoid it. And now Johnny Nitro. He went for the rolling Savat kick there. And now he's able to fight off Shad. There's a nice... Oh, wait, off the... I for wow, I forgot the, what the name of the move was. But anyway, nice moonsault, but Chad able to kick out. Derp. Derp on my part. Anyway, so now we're going to get JTG. Oh, but J Johnny Nitro knocks Chad off the rope. Off the apron and out. Johnny Nitro looking to make the tag to Mr. Kennedy. But JTG able to fight him off. And now JTG, he's got Johnny Nitro by the head, maybe going for a DDT. Looks like he set him up for a DDT. But Johnny Nitro with a clothesline, able to fight him off. And as long as JTG is in Mr. Kennedy's and Johnny Nitro's corner, he is not where he wants to be. So we see Molina on the ringside, cheering on her boyfriend, Johnny Nitro. And now we're going to see Mr. Kennedy get the tag in. This capture card again fucks up. Clothesline and now a knee to the face by Mr. Mr. Kennedy. Just stomping away at the face of JTG. Vicious, dirty stomping there by Mr. Kennedy. And now JTG looking to use his speed to sort of throw Mr. Kennedy off guard here. Going after the arm now. And now Mr. Kennedy. Bulldog! Bulldog by JTG. And JTG starting to get some offense going here. Kennedy. What's he looking to go for here? Nice knee lift by JTG. Kennedy, he's got JTG up. Nice suplex. Sort of a brain buster type suplex there on the part of Mr. Kennedy. He's got JTG into the corner and there's a nice running shoulder tackle. Into the corner, a nice corner spear by Mr. Kennedy. And now, Kennedy. DDT planting JTG face first into the ring and now there's a nice running elbow and now mr kennedy looking to go up top for his finisher the canton bomb 
and JTG was able to roll out of the way. That could have been it if Kennedy had hit that Kenton bomb. Nice running DDT, and now it looks like JTG is busted wide open. Mr. Kennedy now just stomping away at JTG while he's down, kicking him while he's down. And Kennedy trying to knock Shad off the apron, and he does. Kennedy going up top, looking to put away JTG. This time he connects with the Kenton bomb. Mr. Kennedy going for the cover, but it doesn't hook the leg. Careless on the part of Mr. Kennedy is JTG able to get the rope break. And Kennedy unable to get the pinfall. Went for the running elbow, but unable to connect. See, almost hit referee Mike Kyoto there. And now Mr. Kennedy. Oh, shoulder tackle by JTG as he looks to get fired up now. Kennedy able to duck behind. And there's an atomic drop by Kennedy. And now Mr. Kennedy. Oh, he's got he's got the tights again. He's got the pants. Here's the cover. One. Dirty covered. Referee can't see it. Oh, and a kick out as Shad was able to get in there and save JTG from what would have been a dirty pinfall that referee Mike Kyoto couldn't see. Expert dirty maneuver there on the part of Mr. Kennedy. He would not have been caught if Shad had not gotten in there to just break out the pinfall. There's a clothesline by Mr. Kennedy. And now Kennedy. He's been impressive since arriving on the scene of Monday Night Raw. And there's a running DDT and JTG. He's just taken all of the punishment in this match. And now Kennedy just stealing JTG's neck breaker. He just stole JTG's finisher. And now Mr. Kennedy. He's going to whip JTG into the corner. And now Kennedy. He's got him up on the top rope. We know what he's going for here. Signature maneuver of Mr. Kennedy. Off the top rope. Green Bay plunge. Nice rolling fireman's carry off the top rope. The Green Bay plunge. Molina had a chair. She was bringing a chair into the ring. And now the referee distracted with Johnny Nitro. But Nitro just took out Shad. Here's cover two. And three, Mr. Kennedy and Johnny Nitro pick up the victory over crime time here in this contest. And Molina tried to get a chair in there, and the referee was distracted. So if JTG had kicked out, Kennedy might have been able to use that chair. Who knows what could have happened with that chair. And that's the thing with managers being at ringside. Anything can happen. Six superstars instead of four. A lot harder, a lot more difficult to keep track of. And there's the celebration in the ring. Molina... Mr. Kennedy and Johnny Nitro celebrating over their tag team victory. And what does this mean for the future of the tag team of John Morrison and Mr. Ken Johnny Nitro and Mr. Kennedy? Could they maybe go after the tag team titles, the Hardy Boys, Evolution, who knows? Or could they even join Evolution?